Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Path Sala. Hope you all are doing good. In today's video, we are going to create table with sticky header having both horizontal and vertical scroll. I already have uploaded a video regarding this topic, but I have received few feedbacks saying it's creating problem if there are more number of columns. So decided to upload this video for you guys. Hope it will be useful for you all. Let's get started. Here I have the index.html file with basic HTML syntax. And inside the header, I have given the title tag and I have linked the bootstrap CSS to it. Next, inside the body tag, I have the table element and I have 20 T head and TDs with some dummy values. Now, let's run and check this in the browser. Right now, you can see that the table is appearing like this. So now we will be modifying this code. We'll create a div with class container which is bootstrap class and inside that div we'll create another div with class row. Let's move this table element inside the div row. If you check in the browser you can see little change in the table. Next to the table, we'll add two classes, table stripped and table condensed. You can see the difference after adding those classes. In the next step, we'll be adding a class table container to the first div and table fixed to the second div. Next, we will be working on the styling of the table. First, let me give some background color to the body. And for the class table container, we'll give max width as width contained and max height as fix content so that when you zoom out this table it won't give you any extra space next we'll add the scroll bar to the table for both horizontal and vertical so we'll add that in the class table fixed Overflow X scroll and overflow Y scroll. You can see the scroll bar. We'll specify the height. First we'll give height fit contain and and then we'll provide the max height. We'll give 70 VH. Now let's check in the browser so the scroll bar works fine one thing which we can do to this is we'll add some margin top say 40 px next for the table element we'll give minimum width as max content what it will do is like the table column which has long text it will resize the width accordingly then we'll give border collapse as separate
Now we'll work on sticking the table header to the top. For that we'll take table th and then to that we'll give position sticky. Next we'll give top 0. Now you can see that the header has sticked on the top. Next we'll give some background color to it. Then we'll give text align center. And we'll add the color as white for the text. Let's give some border to the TH. And we'll just give the font size as 16px. So moving on to next step, we'll work on the TD. We'll give table TD, then we'll give the background as white. Same text align center and we'll add some border to it. Let's check in the browser. So now you can see that our table is working perfectly fine which has both horizontal and vertical scroll and while scrolling down the table header has a sticky feature and you can add in number of columns to this table as per your requirement so guys with this we have completed this video i hope this will help you guys please let me know your feedback in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video please do like and subscribe to my channel bye take care